Today, I'm going to show you how to engrave onto tiles. These tiles are crazy glossy, meaning if you try to engrave with it, the laser will just bounce right back. So first, we have to prepare the tile. You can wipe it clean with alcohol and then use Rust-Oleum to paint the whole tile, or at least the area of interest that you are going to engrave onto. The key ingredient is titanium oxide. So just because you can't find Rust-Oleum doesn't mean you're going to give up. Just find something that has titanium oxide. Based on multiple Google results, I find that the sweet spot that most people are using it is around 500 millimeter per second with a power setting of 60%. But here's the problem. I have no idea what laser machines they're using, what power settings they were at. So it's crucial that you create something like this chart right here. On the y-axis is the various speed. On the x-axis is the various power settings. So with a speed of 500, I'm going to go through a range of 400 to 600. With a power setting of 60, I'm going to dial it down all the way from 10% all the way to 70%. In Lightburn, this is easily done in the laser tools, go down to material tests. This is the number of rows and the number of columns. We're going to do a 10 by 10 matrix. The minimum speed again is 400. The maximum speed is 600. The minimum power is 10% and the maximum power is 70%. For Y center and X center, you can enter it wherever you want the laser to start like 100 and 100. The height and the width you can change it as well if you want to make the boxes smaller or bigger. Once you're done with all of these settings, go ahead and place your tiles onto the engraver. Click on frame to get a preview of where the laser is going to hit. And if you want to see how much time it will take, click on preview. Here you can see that it's going to take one hour and one minute. I don't know why it will take that much, but that's how much it's going to take one hour. If you're satisfied with where the laser is going to be onto the tile when you do frame, then go ahead and click on start. When all is said and done, this is the result after one hour. Right here you can see all of the dark shades as well as for some reason I'm seeing blue shades as well. And on the right hand side you're going to see a lot of light shades. For me, the shade at 600 speed and 30% is pretty good. It's not too dark and it's not too light. So that's why I'm going to engrave my Felix onto the tile with that settings of 600 millimeter and power setting at 30%. You can see how crucial this power chart is because for some people they like it dark while others can like it light. For this Eagles logo, I'm using the same technique as well. You know what's weird? I noticed that for some reason on the left hand side, it's really light. And on the right hand side, it's really dark. I don't know why this is the case, but if somebody knows why, please let me know why. Here you can see the same effects on Felix, but in different areas. And it's really weird. His left leg area is really dark. His head on the left hand side is really dark as well. I know it's not easy to see on the camera, but it's definitely there in person. Alright, hopefully this video helps you on how to dial in the perfect settings to get the result that you want. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.